What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Raise. A singer, an actress, and a dancer, Meg Donnelly started her career at a very young age. But Addison in Zombies was not her debut role. Here we reveal all of her movie roles and actings. Enjoy the video. A lot of fans know Donnelly thanks to her role in the Disney Channel Zombies film franchise, but only a few know that the actress has plenty of roles under her belt, despite being only 22 years old. While most actors don't bother to do acting lessons or any kind of acting or training, this is not the case for Donnelly. She wanted to become an actress from a young age, and she tried to learn all kinds of performing arts as a child. This included acting, dance, and voice training. She attended these lessons at Annie's Playhouse School of Performing Arts, which is in Far Hills, New Jersey. Her training has certainly helped her in her acting career. As a child who had so many acting lessons, Donnelly found it easy to perform while building a great television career. She had played several roles on stage many times as a child. More often, she would get cast as the vocalist, and some of the shows in which she appeared in New York City included Time to Shine, Broadway Kids, and Kids of the Arts. When it comes to her inspiration and influence, she once said that watching the legendary The Breakfast Club influenced her personality the most. In fact, the actress said that this film helped her not to judge other people before she gets to know them. Which film has influenced your personality the most? Don't forget to share it in the comments. Donnelly also confirmed that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Now, seriously, in these last few years, the actress has proven that she is amazingly talented and we're ready to see her in more challenging roles in the future. Sweet understanding. Sweet understanding. Sweet understanding. Sweet understanding. Donnelly spent her childhood in suburban New Jersey, and back in 2013, she was cast in the Netflix series Team Toon, which premiered the same year. This was, believe it or not, her first film role. And during these years, the actress wasn't that famous. Then, three years later, Donnelly was given a role that would change her life while giving her more recognition as an actress. In 2016, Meg got cast in the role of Taylor Otto on the ABC series American Housewife. Interestingly enough, it was because of this role that fans believed Meg is a natural brunette, when in fact, the actress had to dye her hair darker. She's a natural blonde, which makes sense for people who have seen the Zombies franchise. With this role, Meg has secured herself a five-year contract, and she started the series from its premiere to 2021. Sadly, this is the year the show got canceled after five amazing seasons. The actress had explained that her experience in the series telling pop culturalist that when they first started the show, her character had brown hair and she was this jock, which is really challenging because according to Meg, she had no athletic ability. But she also admitted that this was a really funny role to play. Then she started gravitating towards musical theater and singing, and that's what I like to do, so that was really cool. She's matured so much, and so have I, as have all the siblings. It's insane. Taylor knows a lot about hard work. When she's had challenges in life, she's pushed through. It's inspiring to see that. He's coming for me! Not now! I gotta focus! <laughs> So yeah, Meg basically grew up in front of her eyes, but no, the role in American Housewife was not her breakthrough role, although it helped Meg get a lot of recognition, which is, after all, what most actors are looking for. Just like her character in American Housewife, Meg felt like her life was changing. She turned into this beautiful girl who simply loves singing and dancing. When you're an extremely talented actress, you have a beautiful voice, and on top of that, you know how to dance? Well, it's only a matter of time until some major company notices you and asks you to play a role in their project. This is exactly what happened to Meg when she got cast in the Zombies franchise. Her life was changed when she felt that it was like to become an overnight sensation. Donnelly now has millions of fans worldwide who can't wait to see her in the next project. She got cast in Zombies just two years after American Housewife premiered in February 2018. In the first installment of the highly successful franchise, the actress played Addison, the female lead. Yes, guys, we too can't believe the first film premiered four years ago. Anyway, Donnelly is now considered to be one of the most popular Disney Channel stars in the world, with her having a busy schedule with upcoming films and TV shows. Thankfully, the creators of Zombies decided to make two additional movies in which Meg reprised her role of Addison. She also explained that the fact that they chose her for the part made her feel blessed, adding that she has learned a lot from the character. In an interview with People, the actress revealed that being cast in a musical was her dream come true. In her own words, High School Musical was my entire life. She ended the interview with the following message that depicts what the Zombies franchise is truly about. 
No matter where you come from, there can be people who think you are scary, but you have to get to know them and realize that they're just like everybody else. Interestingly enough, the actress appeared in a couple of episodes of High School Musical, the musical, the series, where she acted alongside her Zombies 3 co-star, Matt Cornett. This is one of her most recent roles. She has also lent the voice of Addison for Zombies, Addison's Monster Mystery, which is an animated TV show. In 2021, the actress lent her voice to an animated TV show called Pandemica. The show features some A-list celebrities such as Penelope Cruz and Wanda Sykes. As previously mentioned, Meg is also leading a pretty successful music career. She released her debut album, Trust, in December 2019, and she plans on making more music in the future. During the show, Quarantine Period, I've been working on music by myself, the actress told Hollywood Life in October 2020. Now that studios are opening more, I've been going into the studio and I've been finishing up another body of work. So I'm really, really excited about this one. It's like a lot more mixture and a lot more of what I want to sound like, so that's really cool. There's no doubt that Meg is an extremely talented person and we wish her a bright acting and music career in the future. But what surprised us the most is the fact that Donnelly struggled with anxiety for all these years while she was trying to break into Hollywood. She was working so hard all these years and we can only imagine how difficult it was for her to overcome her fears. Unfortunately, the actress has suffered from anxiety ever since a child and she has decided to speak about the worst part of her childhood. Meg is not the only celebrity who suffers from anxiety, but she is one of the ones who have decided to speak about it and spread awareness. To be more precise, Donnelly suffered stomach aches and manic attacks. Back in May 2020, by the way, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. The actress did a live session on her Instagram account with Dr. Arash Arashavani and explained how she dealt with anxiety when she was just a child. During the session, Meg informed her fans that she suffered from generalized anxiety disorder and panic attacks. Thankfully, Donnelly received a lot of support from her parents, which helped her overcome some of her fears. And fortunately, the actress is all better now, which makes us really, really happy. In the Instagram session, the actress thanked all of her supporters, including you, her most dedicated fans. But this is not the only time she has spoken about mental illnesses. In fact, she often uses her Twitter account to post about mental health subjects. She has also been involved in the campaigns against bullying, which clearly proves that she perfectly knows how to use her status. Now, Donnelly has a few upcoming projects that are currently in production, including one called Smash That Subscribe Button and Notification Bell. So you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. But seriously, Meg will play the lead role in the TV series The Winchesters, which is supposed to air this year. See you in the next video.